So my name's Kirsten Coxon, uh, and I guess I kind of got the idea. I was trying to think of different ways I could use uh, resonating pipes, metal pipes, to create sound, and was originally trying with a lot thicker pipes, and that did not end well. So I ended up using hollow aluminum tubes that are quarter of an inch and cutting them in different lengths for different uh, pitches and just attaching them so that different pipe lengths could be played in any direction around the instrument by different musicians or by two hands at once. Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Dave LaCroix and I'm uh, 19 here at Dartmouth College. So originally I had the idea of taking a garbage can, sl slashing it in half, putting it on its side and then putting st strings through it because I really like the piano aspect but I wanted it to be with like both hands but when I realized our time frame and as an engineer you constantly revise and constantly um, just constantly change your idea so I just decided we'll go with something much smaller and compact and instead of getting that piano um, aspect what if I got the guitar um, what if I made it more of like a guitar and so I realized I could still keep that same hollowness of the bucket that I would have found in the garbage can, but instead let me try putting the strings, as you can see here, um, in, the, like, in the bucket to manipulate that void. And then I got these, um, this is like for the guitar from the string shop, and so you can adjust these strings um, to, I guess, for the different sound. And so I really like that aspect of combining the hollowness with a more like like sort of like a deep sound with a very light sound. And so when it plays, it sounds a little something like. I'm Leslie Hernandez. And I'm Lisa G. So we realized that we really, we really liked the pipes and how easily they could be manipulated. So like anytime you'd like hit them, any, like you could hit them in different places. Or you can hold them at different places. And yeah, and you can get different sounds, and that's yeah. something that we really liked about the pipes. So the pipes pretty much stayed throughout, and we, reali we realized that like every idea that we had not only changed, but evolved to becoming this. Our idea evolved so much that at some point we wanted to use bungee cords for this. Like, there was, um, there's a difference, but in the end we ended up using this. I'm Josh Elliott, I'm a second year grad student. Um, so I haven't named this thing, but it's loosely or pretty directly based on a musical saw, which is usually just one piece of metal that you kind of contort into different shapes to get different tones. So when you're not touching it, uh, there's enough weight on the end. You get a little bit of a tone, because there's a slight S curve, but then the more of a And then I think I mostly make screechy noises when I use the bow, but...